Uh, good morning. We're going to uh, put some more pieces on the treehouse today. After a hard night of work, we got some rest, and now we are going back out to put up the joists, which are Jason and another part of Hercules. And another part of what? Yeah. Oh, and another part of Hercules. I can explain. Before we milled our logs, as we pulled them out, we named them. We named one Hercules, one Jason, one Napoleon, and one Arthur. Hercules we milled into the joists along with our other log named Jason, who was all joists. And then we don't know what to do with Napoleon and Arthur yet. Mm -hmm. We were waiting on my little sister. Isn't that life? So the kids have been really patient through a lot of projects around here. They've watched me put up a shop and uh, watched me put up the house and uh, do a lot of stuff um, that they do benefit from. They'll benefit from having a shop and they certainly benefit from having a house. But this project actually feels like it's for them, that it's, uh, that it's a direct benefit to them and something that they can use right now. They're appreciative that I'm uh, taking time to make a thing specifically for them and for them to have fun with. Um, and that's exactly why I'm doing it, because they've been really great. They've been super patient with all of the work that goes on around here, and I just want to give them something of their own. Ooh, my helpers are coming down, yay! My helper workers are Good job, Sadie. So I think what we do is we start with that center joist that has to go right between the trees. Oh, that's a, um, let's set that one aside. Let's get one that are, that's actually Jason from the Jason log. This was from that um, oh. six by six that we milled. Yeah, right. So it's not as primo. We'll just, and we're just gonna let the ends kind of run wild. Like not really line up the ends or have the ends cut very much. Yeah. And then when they're all attached, we can draw a line across them whoosh, and cut them all. Yeah. Does that make sense? Is that your new tool bag accessory, Sadie? Huh? Purse. I'm a worker. You look like a worker. You don't see much work happening. The joists went on. Uh, I just sort of threw them up there, tried to get them situated so it's going to be somewhat symmetrical on our on our two beams that are yeah, that lock not entirely top. parallel to one another and it's measuring that and is it the same as this i use some uh sort of homemade hurricane clips to uh attach them these were just little l braces that i had reclaimed off of a deck that I tore apart for somebody. I cut corners off to act like hurricane clips. It is? Yes. Great. That all went up pretty easily. It... Can I um, uh, look at the brackets from Stella's ladder the next um Yes. That's, that's a big yes. It's a little bit of a trick to work around a massive tree like that. Uh, but I think our spacing is going to be fine for the uh, the footfalls up there. Uh, I think it'll be enough framing. They have to be in opposite corners. You know what I mean? Because it wouldn't it wouldn't work on the other side here. So the opposite corners makes it so it can't roll at all. There will be some intersecting lines here if you don't move that 
that way. This at my end, this way. Right okay. We were measuring it, making sure that it, that two Jasons were parallel, that the Jasons were parallel to each other. It's okay if um Hercules was triangular, but Jason, out of story. If it was triangular, then we, if it made an angle, then it wouldn't be as strong. Okay, so we want to measure yours again, Milo. Can you do that? Yep. And now we're just a little strong of it? Yeah. It's not going to matter too much, but I'm going to bump it. Just about right? Yeah, just about right. right. It was kind of nerve-wracking to work um, up on a ladder, a rickety one, backwards, while holding a tape measure to measure things. Use the tape measure to reach out and hook this guy. Kind of as far out as you can reach. And what we're looking, you got the tape in your hand. Go ahead and take it. Okay. What we're looking for is 2-6 to this edge. So we're woefully short, right? Yeah, woefully short. So if I go that way, that's about right. Yes. So that's close enough. It was pretty nerve-wracking, but I liked it. So after the beams were up, it looked kind of small. I was a little bit bummed out by how much room they were gonna have. But as soon as we started putting joists on and we got width in the other direction, you can see there's actually gonna be quite a bit of floor space, at least enough room for three sleeping bags up there. So that's the important part. Go ahead. Yep, you're making it. So with those all up there and all lined up, we were then able to um, uh, strike a line on either side and do the finished end cut of all those joists. And I might use one of them to mark the line to cut the ends of each of those. I still need to cut a consistent thing. Um, so we might run up and get the battery saw. Um, run up and get the battery saw. Who can do it? I can do it. I wanted to do that after the fact uh, because I didn't really think I was going to be able to get them all lined up perfectly and, um, and all ending in the same place. I just threw them up there, struck a line across it, chopped the ends off, and then we were able to put our, uh, our rim joists up there. Some of you have been asking about the name for our treehouse and the area around the treehouse. We've been calling it the campsite for a long time because one time we camped there. Um, but we don't like that name. If we think that the glorious treehouse deserves something with much more magic and fun to it. So we haven't decided yet. We've looked at all sorts of recommendations from you and we're still tossing things around. And when we decide, we'll let you know. Ooh. All right. 
Sorry, Why'd your orange juice high five? So up next, we're gonna do a little more bracing before we put flooring on. Uh, those, the outside corners of the platform are pretty tippy. So we're doing diagonal bracing back to the tree on all four corners. So there'll be a little bit of steel fab and some bracing of those corners uh, so that they can take a load. Um, and after that's done, then we can move on to flooring and railing and ladder and all the stuff that's gonna actually make it usable for the kids. Good night, little house. Thanks for watching. Best Tree House ever. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs>